Hi, Bill Edstrom here, and now we've got a beat here, and I want to show you how to resequence this with step clips and the traction sequencer. It sounds complicated, but it's easier than you might think. First, we're going to take this beat, and we're going to chop it up. I showed you how to do this in another video, so all I'm going to do is drag hit slash and chop up all these beats. Then I'm going to listen to the beats and see if I've got some isolated ones that I can use in sampler along with a step clip in order to just basically take the pieces of this and use it almost like a drum machine. So let's just listen to this. All right, right here we've got a nice kick. So I'm going to just name this one kick. And here we have a hi-hat. So I'm going to name that one HH. Let's see if we've got a, a, a snare that's isolated. Right here. So we'll name this one snare. Now, I've got the named ones. The rest of them, I'm just going to delete the ones that don't have names. I can delete by doing a shift select and delete. That gives me... Well, that's enough stuff I can use to resequence. So I'm going to add a new track, create a new track. And this will be my step clip track. So I'm going to just drag a new clip right to this and we'll insert a new step clip. Make sure that is right at the beginning. And then I'm going to insert the traction sampler, an extremely simple sampler. Now, I'll show you the trick on how to get these into here. Now, the first thing we want to do is our kick. And you'll see that there's a channel here already set up, and it's set up to the note C2. So we want to put our kick on C2 in the sampler. Now, for each of these hits that I want to use, I want to flatten the clip, meaning I want to create an underlying audio file that is only that one hit. And the way we do that is to flatten it. So I'll click on the clip there and then choose Flatten. And then I'll do this again here, Render Clip Flatten. And I'll render this clip and flatten. Now, the underlying waveforms are ready to go. So I'm going to select this one here and copy it. Control C and then select Sampler by clicking on it right over here in the mixer and then insert with Control or Command V if you're on a Mac. Now you can see I've got the snare in there. Let's get the kick in there. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it. And I'll copy it and I'll paste it. Now for the kick, we want that on C2. So we want to drag all these arrows here down to C2. This is the center. That's the note you'll play to get it at the original pitch. And we'll put that right there. Now, if I put in some kicks here into the sequencer, I've all, I'm already sequencing it. Let's mute off the original track. And let's take a look at the acoustic snare that is D2. So now we're going to drag all these arrows to D2, which is right here. This is the pitch, and then this is the range over which it plays. And now I'm ready to sequence my snare. Now for the closed hi-hat channel, I have an F sharp 2, which is right here on this black key. So we want to do the same thing over here in sampler for hi-hat. Thanks for watching, make some music, and have fun.